So Nansha Mittal uh, joining us now. Thank you. Thank you for being with us on India Decides at 9. Now, uh, you've of course been in the center of headlines since yesterday after a lot of the raids that are, that are taking place. What is, what is your reaction to all that's happening? This is nothing but political, uh, making me a political scapegoat, political witch hunting. My company, Delhi Tents and Decorators, has had contracts from the various agencies of CWG only to the tune of 29 lakhs. Not 29 crores, only 29 lakhs. What is being investigated is an expenditure of 77,000 crores. Right, but just, just to start with, even if it was 29 lakhs, can I at least ask you the question, was there a problem with that contract or did you actually do everything or did you overcharge in any way? That's it. Vikram, first, A, this is, there is an effort to trivialize and deflect the entire investigation which needs to go into the spending of 79,000 crores. B, what was the wrongdoing? In this 29 lakhs, somebody has to come forward and say this was the wrongdoing. I mean, I'm, this is just no wrongdoing. Yet, the first primary target for this investigation is Sudhan Shumitil. With, with contracts of only 29 lakhs. Okay, now first of all, of course, there are other people who are now uh, in, in the spotlight as well in the firing line and I guess everyone is going to get, uh, get questioned. But just staying in your particular case, you said your company's only got contracts worth 29 lakhs. But in addition, you've also been very closely associated with Dipali and that was getting much, much larger contracts, 230 crores. Two things. Dipali and we have been competitors for the last 30 years. He's a distant relative of mine. B. Dipali is a minor shareholder in the consortium. Okay. And Dipali has executed contracts worth only 35, 36 crores in this overlay contract. And these contracts have related to generator supply and electrical cabling. And not all the items which have been brought forward by the media as, as the ones where there, there have been cases of massive overcharging. So A, what is it that Dipali has done wrong? Secondly, even if Dipali has done something wrong, how am I related to that? How am I connected to with that? Well, I mean, you can't completely wash your hands off any connection with Dipali. You have been associated with it. You've been a director on Dipali, even if it is only for a few months. No, no, I, I explained this earlier also. For, for a period of five months, I was a director, not a, as an executive director, as a non-executive director in Dipali, as an independent director, and only for a period of five months. And before I became a director, the, the tenders were already, um, uh, the last date of tender was already over, the tender was open before that, they were lowest before that. So relating me to that, how, how, what is the correlation? Okay, I just want to come back to the sums that were actually involved with uh, connecting Dipali and its partners. Now, you were saying they only got 35 crores, but actually, Dipali put together with its partners did get a contract worth 230 crore rupees for overlay. So, it was a fairly significant contract that they got. Vikram, you have to understand that it's not Dipali which did this. See, the conditions of the tender were such that no Indian company could have participated in this because they had they had specified that there should be an experience of either the Commonwealth Games or for Olympics. So no Indian company was eligible. So the principal company which did this was Pico. The Pali was a minor partner with them and in fact, in, 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 at, at the very end, they basically were subcontractors with the Pico. And in that capacity, the only contract which they executed with Pico was to the tune of 35, 36 crores. And that too specifically in the field of providing generator and uh, electrical cabling. That's it.